Inspirational poster graphics are certainly popular around the internet. You see them on social media, used on merchandise and other products. They're incorporated into printables and more. They're attractive and they have inspirational sayings or quotes that audiences love. But how do you use them in your own business? Well, great news because I'm Alice Siba and on behalf of Yusuf and myself at eKit Hub, we've got 11 ideas for you to use and repurpose uh, poster graphics plus six rock solid strategies to make sure you're using them to grow your business. After all, there's no point in publishing all this content or creating products if no one is paying attention. So let's get you started off on the right foot. Here at eKid Hub, we make a lot of inspirational poster graphics for our customers. They can publish them as is or edit them as they wish, add their branding and more. In fact, we have a pretty impressive collection you can pick up for a great price and you will see the link in the video or on this page you're at. But let's talk about this first. Uh, the, here are 11 ways that our customers use inspirational graphics, and we'll talk about each in depth, including examples. So, you know, keep listening to make the most of this tutorial. Number one is wall art shipped to the customer. Number two, printable wall art where the customer prints it. Number three, create other print on demand merchandise. And of course, now if you don't wanna do products like this, that's not a problem. There are so many great uses for this type of content. And number four is social media posts. Number five, social media stories. Number six, in your books, reports, and more. Number seven, use them as writing or speaking prompts. Number eight, use them as journal covers, planner covers. Uh, number nine, to give them away as a free printable download. And number 10, turn them into coloring pages. Number 11, add them to presentations, videos, and classes. So that's a lot, uh, but let's just talk about them all. And as I said, we've got examples and show you how you can use these graphics. So, you know, inspirational wall art is number one that you ship out to the customer. It's a big business these days, you know, and you've probably seen, you know, in people's home, maybe you have some of this type of content in your home as well. Um, and if you've got a design ready, like we prepare for you, you can have your own product for sale super fast. All you have to do is create an account at Guten or Gelato, uh, and they ship out framed art or canvases for you. Plus, you, can, you only pay when you make the sale. So you don't have to pay for a bunch of inventory or have big startup expenses. Number two is printable wall art where the customer would do the printing. And if you don't want to mess on print on with print on demand um, and physical products, but it's really easy because you never touch those physical products and you pay as you as you make sales. But you can actually keep your wall art products completely digital. If you look at Etsy, you'll see many sellers with printable wall art with these inspirational sayings that their customers print themselves and they're huge sellers. And you can see a few on the screen right now, big sellers selling this digital content. Your customers could print at home or they could use a variety of local or online printing services to create their wall art. You know, digital options means the customer usually gets a better price and they also come back for more prints regularly anytime they want to change their decor, send a gift and so forth. You can also use these graphics to number three, create other print on demand merchandise, uh, easy to repurpose. Uh, to create other merchandise like mugs, t-shirts, magnets, phone cases, phone grips, and more. You can also use those print-on-demand services like Guten and Gelato are talked about, or one of our favorites, which is Printful. You can make these as products for sale, use them as client gifts, bonuses, prizes. There's lots of options. And again, if you're not interested in selling merchandise, then there are a lot more options. And they're great for social media posts, which brings us to number four. Um, and they're perfect, you know, the kind of content that people love to share and engage with. You can easily, you know, crop and resize for the platform that you need. Uh, be sure to include your thoughts about the saying and why you're sharing it. You can also add your branding and promotion where it's, you know, relevant to your post. 
Now, remember, if you're offering these as posters or other products for sale as well, like so this image that you're sharing on social media, say someone can buy the wall art or they can buy a phone case, uh, it's a great promotion for your product for sale. Plus, the thoughts that you share about the saying can in, be incorporated into your product pages. So you're sharing this on social media. You see the little example has you know some thoughts about it. But you can also add that to your sales page because the more you get your audience thinking, the more they're going to love this and want it for themselves. Number five is social media stories and reels. You know, it's also a social media post, but you can incorporate these graphics into your stories or even use them to create reels. They can be shared just for their inspirational impact, or you can include a video of yourself or some audio talking about the significance of it, whatever you want. These examples, you know, they have, you know, add your hashtags, create engagement with a question. Uh, and the third one, which you can't see, is this cute little jumping gif that, <laughs> adds a little visual element to it. So you can have a lot of fun with them. Stories are also, you know, great relationship building content uh, and it keeps you in the mind of your prospect, but you might also feature your products, particularly if you're running an ad through stories. Here are a few examples where, you know, it's turned into merchandise and you get a little ad, add your link and you're ready to go. And you know, th just this content can be used to promote your products as well. Like be smart and use this content in a variety of ways to draw attention and build interest for your products. Number six, you can add them to your books, downloadable reports and more. Simple enough, right? Add some visual elements to your books and, and those reports, you know, use them in appropriate chapters or use them as writing prompts, which is what we're going to talk about next. So here we are at number seven. Use them as writing or speaking prompts. Um, you know, upload a graphic to your blog and, and or suit them into a slideshow and start writing. What does the image mean to you? Can you tell a funny or interesting story? There's a lot of content fodder here. Um, it, it can be on all, you know, whether it's writing or in, in, a, in, in a video or an audio or a podcast, whatever it is, it's just to get your, your creative juices flowing. Then we have number eight, use them as journal and planner covers or dashboards. I mean, these are great, right? They're ready to go. You just add journal or meditation journal, as you can see in these examples, super easy, easy cover creation. Um, you, you can also use them as platter dashboards, either in the planners you sell or allow your customers to download uh, the dashboards and print them for themselves. Number nine, give them away as a free download to grow your list. Obviously, this is a printable poster that you can, in this example, printable poster to grow your list. It could be a planner dashboard, whatever you want. And if you sell des the designs in actual products, you can promote those once they sign up, or maybe you have a training or coaching program that is relevant to the saying, you can promote those to your new subscribers. Number 10, kind of a different idea is to turn them into coloring pages. Uh, we offer PSD files for all our poster graphics, so that means you have a lot of editing capabilities. You can use Photoshop, but you can also use the free GIMP and PhotoP editors, so you do not have to invest in Photoshop to work with PSD files. And in our channel, you'll find a video on how to actually turn these images into fillable, like you color in content. Number 11 is add them to presentations and videos and classes. So if you run classes, do or there are great some, you know, add some great thought provoking images and add them as you'd like. Uh, many people insert quotations into their presentation to get people thinking, to understand the point better. So here's something just as inspiring, but with the visual appeal as well. So there are 11 ideas for you. And of course, you know, they are are, are, are ideas for using the content, but they won't necessarily grow your business in themselves 
because now we really need to talk about the strategies of using these graphics to grow your business. So here's six that you can get started with. Number one is obviously, and, and you'll find it's a, a little bit kind of a review of what we had here, but making sure you're keeping in mind your business goals. So product for sale. There are lots of options for creating products. We already covered uh, wall art, mugs, t-shirts, journal and planner covers, and, and more. Always create mock-ups that demonstrate the product. If they're print on demand, the company will actually provide you with the mock-ups. So if you're creating a t-shirt, you wanna use their mock-ups because it'll show the product properly. If you're doing uh, printable products, we love using uh, the Place, Place It. Uh, uh, it's an online platform to create all our mock-ups. There's lots out there, but that one's our favorite. Number two, you can use it to grow your mailing list. You should always be building your mailing list of potential buyers, so use the graphics and the content you create around them as often offers. You can offer a printable poster graphic as a download for free. You can give them a report that you created by using the graphics as writing prompts. You can allow them to download a planner dashboard and then introduce them to your planning products or course. So many possibilities, but the key is to create plenty of free opt-in offers that make it easy for you to promote your products to your new, new subscribers, pardon me, and hopefully new customers. Number three, you can use them to build traffic. People are always searching for free printables or printables in general, sayings about certain products, help with achieving goals, and so forth. So with that in mind, conduct some keyword research. There are lots of free keyword tools around. Um, you can use, in your, you create a Google ad account and you can use their free tool, which is a very good one, to find out how you could draw in traffic from your target audience. And of course, people love sharing inspirational content. Make it easy for your visitors to share and create that word of mouth for you. Number four, these are promotions for your products. If you're creating content around these images, I mean, for example, saying why you love the saying and what it means to you, incorporate that content into your sales pages and promotions. It helps your potential customer connect with the saying in a more meaningful way and inspire them to make the purchase. Number five is bonuses for high ticket products. If you sell high ticket products or coaching programs, here's how to make a big impact on your new clients. Send them some wall art, a t-shirt, a mug, or other thoughtful item as a thank you for signing up. Encourage your new students to share their free gift on social media so they can get more accountability for the program they're about to embark on and, embark on, and you get word of mouth promotion, right? So it's two, doing two things at once. They're posting it, not just to brag, like, or not to brag about you, to like, they, they probably love the thing, they wanna share it, but now they're gonna talk about how they're in this program. So they get that built in accountability. Number six, gifts for your best customers and clients. Once in a while or during the holidays, why not go through and find your best customers and ship them a gift as well? You can make a nice basket of gifts for, with sayings you know they'll love, creating a deeper relationship between you and them, and a deeper relationship, you know, more personal, right? Usually means repeat purchases, recommending you to friends and more. And also, you know, look for donation, giving donations for giveaways, bundles, and fundraisers. Maybe you have some colleagues organizing such events. It generates good publicity for you that you can leverage for goodwill or, you know, create your own contest giveaway or fundraiser to, to, to build your audience. So if you're ready to put these ideas for, to work for you, as you know, we make the graphics for you and we've actually put together 130 of our most popular poster graphics and put them into one handy package for you. They're fully editable and brandable and available for commercial use. Plus, we've added a few handy extras, including 10 bonus inspirational PLR graphics, also fully editable, come in the PSD, PNG, and PDF format. And again, PSDs, you do not need Photoshop. You can use the free GIMP or um, 
uh, photo P editors. Uh, we also give you the PDF, which will allow you to upload them to Canva and do some editing of the 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 text. It's not perfect, but there you know you can you can work within Canva. You could also use Adobe Acrobat with the PDF. And then to make it easy to actually create your own library of inspirational graphics for a long time to come, we've added our 365 days of inspiration and templates bonus. So it's a handy bonus that includes 122 inspirational quotes we've collected for you, 122 motivational questions to engage your audience, and 122 motivation and inspiration tips. Plus, there's five PowerPoint templates you can work with to create your own design, giving you a different format to work with. PowerPoint is such a great graphics editor, easy to move around and add different elements. So obviously, so much great content to help you master and uh, master poster and inspirational graphic marketing. So, you know, no worries. Also, if you want to brainstorm questions or, or have ideas that you'd like to brainstorm or you have questions, we're in the eKit Hub group where we're happy to help and you'll find that on your download page. So just go by ekithub.com slash poster and you'll find this giant package at an amazing price. You're not going to believe it. And you'll be able to start putting these together. And again, if you need help any step of the way, we have our eKit Hub group there to help you.